The idea about glass is that uh, maybe I shouldn't say so as an artist, as a painter, but that it's more powerful than paint. Well, the first time Adriano asked me to work in glass, I was not uh, prepared. It took me another four years to study about the glass and to start again. Now I know it is the most obvious thing in the world because as a painter you work with light, you work with color. So that's what Murano glass is all about. In a sculpture, we are traditionally bound to opaque sculptures. In glass you have the three dimensions, but in fact you have much more than the three dimensions. You could say we have a four dimension. You can look through the glass. So you, you can paint in glass and, and, and see the colors in 3D, what is normally impossible. You cannot see a cadmium red or an orange in 3D in a painting. In glass you can. If it was possible to make a glass piece of three meter by four meter, like a huge painting, I would never work in paint again. So color for me is like poetry, it's beauty in its pure essence. Uh, for me, the flowers, for instance, are a pretext. The flowers are colorful. I'm not particularly interested in flowers, but every artist finds a form. So my form is the plate and the flower. Let me say, for some people, working in color is kitsch. No discussion if it's not black and white, it's not gray, it's kitsch. So, um, you could say that Murano and everything color-related is kitsch. For me, it's a different kind of thing. Um, for me, what, what uh, differentiates kitsch from art is the thought behind the art piece, is the formal attitude of the artist. Beautiful! You can make a horse, and you can make a horse. If you make a horse, just like, you know what, I will make a horse, you're not an artist. If you make a horse and you think about how can I make that horse look like the most beautiful and fantastic horse that's been made since the Renaissance, then you're an artist. Then you think like a scientist because it's not about the horse, it's about the legs, the position of the head, the, the, you know, the proportions. It's about almost a kind of science. And this is what art is about. So in Murano these days, it's about the horse. Murano made masterpieces in the past. They, they, I saw chandeliers in these palazzos, uh, amazingly beautiful chandeliers, very well thought in terms of colors and balance. You know, they, they put that opaline and they put a little touch of transparent red and then you had a little touch of yellow, which was just yellow enough not to overblow the chandelier. And the whole thing also in form was so perfect. It's a sculpture, it's a classical art piece. So they know, they knew, they, they still know how to do art. And Adriano Berengo is a genius. He invites artists to introduce that art aspect again into the glass industry because that's what they need. Murano has still the possibility, the potential to become or to be one of the best things in the world. But we need artist input. But I'm sure this will be one day one of the deep, beautiful pieces of art history. Mm -hmm.